afternoon, everybody. This is Miss Courtney with our distance learning series. Okay, so today um, we're continuing um, with our reading preparation. Okay, so today's Friday. As you know, today's always reading day. And today uh, we have an webinar number 11, and we're going to be talking about fashion in the past. So today I'm kind of dressed up a little bit like Rosie the Riveter from the 1940s. I got my, my jeans. I got my bandana. Okay. And we're going to get ready to go, all right? So here we go. Let's get ready to discuss and talk about fashion in the past. All right, here's our warm-up for today. Please open your notebook and please write down today's date, okay? Today is Friday, the 24th of April, 2020. Please write this in your notebook now. After you finish writing the date, we're going to have some new words today, all right? I want you to listen and repeat after me. Слушай и повтори после меня, пожалуйста, okay? We're going to practice pronunciation right now. So we have jeans, adult, material, invent, teenager, casual, Style. Formal. Okay, so these are the words that you should know in the little book on the slide. Please write these words and their translation in your notebook. Stop this video and write them now. Then we will continue. Okay. So let's move on to our next exercise. We're going to have some fun with um, vocabulary. So here are the words again. And please, again, repeat after me. Casual. Teenager. Formal. Style. Material. Jeans. Invent. Adult. Udobny. And popularny. Now, the last two words are in Russian, guys, because you're going to match the word in Russian with the word in English on the slide. They don't have pictures. Okay? So, match the picture and the word. Draw lines. Please do this now. Look at the pictures on the slide and the words. Okay? And I want you to draw lines. You can draw a little picture in your notebook next to the word near where you wrote the words down. And then you can match them in your notebook with pencil. Okay? So, please, pause or stop this video. Do this exercise now in your notebook. Draw the lines. Okay, let's check your work. Now, please pay attention to the slide right now. Look at what's happening. There are lines being drawn to the different pictures from the different words. Please look at the work in your notebook and see if it matches, okay? Did you get all of these correct? If you um, can't uh, keep up, you can pause the video or stop the video and you can um, look at them now. So you can go back, okay? Now, it's reading time, okay? But before we read, I want you to look at the pictures on the slide, okay? What do you think the text is about? Please write a sentence in your notebook. Also, what and who are in the pictures? And please write your answers in your notebook about this too. Just one or two sentences. You don't have to write a lot, okay? So look at the pictures. We have some dates, okay? Now, please look at them and I didn't want to do that. Okay, can I go back? Yes. So, just please look at, okay, look at the pictures, okay, and pause the video and write them in your notebook now. Quickly pause, okay, and do this now. Okay, now we're going to go on to reading, okay? Sorry for the technical difficulties, guys. Okay, so let's please read with me. I'm going to read. Please read and speak 
Okay, practice reading. All right. Later, you can come back and read it to understand. Okay, if you need to answer questions. Okay, so here we go. A long time ago, before 1850, men and boys wore formal pants all the time. Then, about 150 years ago, in the USA, a man called Levi Strauss invented jeans. He invented them at first for miners because they needed strong trousers to work in the gold mines. The first jeans were white and they got dirty very easily. Soon, jeans were made in dark blue. A hundred years ago, a lot of men wore jeans to work because they liked that the material was so strong. Okay, look at the pictures on the slide. You see, that's Mr. Strauss, the inventor of the jeans. And those are some guys who are working in the early, probably the early 20th century, early 1900s, um, wearing jeans to work. Okay, let's continue reading. Now, please read with me again. Please read out loud with me. In the 1950s, jeans became very popular in America. Teenagers and young adults wore jeans because they wanted to look cool like film stars, like Marlon Brando. Okay, so in this picture you can see um, some guys wearing jeans, uh, 1950s style. This is from a film, it's called Grease. Highly recommend that you watch it. Okay, let's keep reading. Today, people all over the world wear jeans. They're popular because they're casual and comfortable. Now, you can buy jeans in a lots of different colors and styles. Let's continue. There are many different styles of jeans. They can be long, uh, long or short, wide or thin, loose or tight. Some have rips in them. Others have pretty colors and sparkles. Some jeans are even wide at the bottom. Please look at the uh, picture on the left, okay, guys? These are called bell-bottoms or bootleg jeans. They were popular in the 1960s, 1970s, and 1990s in the USA. So on the left of the screen, you see where the flower is? These are bell-bottoms. These are jeans that were popular in the 70s, 60s, and 90s. I had a pair when I was young. Okay, let's continue reading. Some questions for you to think about. Do you like jeans? How often do you wear jeans? What are your favorite types of jeans? Okay, let's continue. Now, reading review. Okay, I want you in your notebook Please, write these questions down and answer them in one or two sentences. What were the three most interesting facts you learned from the text? Number two, write three sentences in your notebook telling me about three interesting things you learned about genes. Okay, so basically it's the same thing, it's just an instruction. Okay. Three things in your notebook, something you learn from the text, something new and interesting, okay? You can write more than three if you want, okay? Please do not just copy facts from the text. Don't just sit, write the sentences word for word. Please write full sentences in your own words, okay? <clears throat> Here's an example. For me, the part of the text where mm, was very interesting because, okay, it will help you. Let's continue. Okay, so now we're gonna check your reading comprehension, okay? Please find the answer to these questions. These questions are also found on the worksheet that you're doing today. So you don't have to do them in your notebook. If you have the worksheet in front of you, you can use that, okay? So these are the questions. Who invented jeans? Why did he invent them? What color were the first jeans? Why were jeans popular in the 1950s with teenagers? 
And when were genes invented? Okay, so those are the questions you need to answer today on your worksheet. Okay, um, if you have any questions, you can always write me on Class Dojo or you can always write me an email. Just let me know if you have any questions and you're having trouble. Okay, I'm always here to help. Now, let's reflect today, guys. Okay. Um, do you like wearing jeans? Why or why not? Okay, so I want you to think about you. All right, so think about it. Answer these questions in your notebook. Do you like wearing jeans? Why or why not? How often do you wear jeans? What are your favorite types of jeans? And what do you like more, formal or casual clothes? Okay, I like wearing jeans because they are comfortable and cozy. I prefer casual clothes because prefer, it means predpachitat, okay? All right, so just so you know, prefer predpachitat. These questions are also on your worksheet, okay? You can do them there or you can do it in your notebook, however is most comfortable for you, okay? Please answer these questions. It's part of your work for today. Okay, so what could we do today? What were we able to do? Okay, so were we able to read an informative text in English? Were we able to complete exercises about a text? Were we able to understand and analyze the text? Were you able to write about what you thought? Okay, could you do all these things? Please check them off if you could. If you couldn't, you can always ask me for questions if you need help or just hang in there, things will get better. All right, here we go. Now, thank you guys so much for today. Okay, you guys were wonderful, great work. Um, I know the reading text has a lot of questions and a lot of writing to go with it. All right, so please bear with me. You guys don't have to get this in today. If it's a little bit late and it's done over the weekend, it's fine. Okay, so please, guys, have a great weekend. Please don't forget to complete the worksheet, okay? So if you do it in your notebook because you don't have uh, the worksheet printed, please send me a photograph of your workbook. If you have the worksheet, please send me the worksheet on Tnifnik or Class Dojo. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful weekend, okay? I hope you guys are happy, safe, and healthy, and I will see you again on Monday. Goodbye, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.